Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods video. And recently I've had a few people asking me how to install the Instant Action Overhaul mod by Mophead. So I decided to make a quick tutorial on how it's done. It's pretty simple, however there are a few extra steps, compared to any normal mods. And after I've downloaded Instant Action Overhaul, I'll also show you how to download any regular mods, just in case you're new to Battlefront 2 modding entirely. Also, I'll leave links to everything you will need down in the description below. The very first thing I would recommend doing is creating three folders on your desktop. This is just to keep all the files we're downloading organized. You want to title the first one Frosty Mods, the second one Gameplay Merger, and the third one Localization Editor. These are the three downloads you'll need to make Instant Action Overhaul work properly. Now the first thing we're going to download is the Frosty Mod Manager which is required for all Battlefront mods. You'll also need a program to extract the files, either 7-zip or WinRAR, I prefer to use WinRAR. So all you have to do on this page is click the download button here and it will start installing Frosty. Once you have the Frosty Mod Manager downloaded, you want to open your downloads folder and drag the Frosty file into the Frosty Mods folder we made earlier. And once you have it in there, just right click and press extract files here. Next up, we're going to head over to the Nexus page and download the Gameplay Handler and Merger. You'll have to make a Nexus account if you haven't already. Now once you're on the Mod page, you want to click on the Files tab, then click Manual Download on the Frosty Mod Manager and Gameplay Merger, and then click Slow Download once prompted. And once that's done, we'll do the same thing as we did before. Drag the file into its respective folder, right click and extract here. Then we want to take the file that pops up after that and drag it into our Frosty Mods folder, and specifically into the Plugins folder. And if asked if you want to replace any files, just click Replace All. Now for the Localization Editor, we're pretty much going to repeat the same process we just did. We'll head to the Nexus page for the Localization Editor, click on the Files tab, then make sure you download Frosty Mod Manager String Merger V3 and don't worry about the top file because that one is actually just for mod makers. So again, you just hit manual download, then slow download. And once that's done, head to your downloads folder and drag this file into the folder we made for it. Once it's in there, just right click and extract files here. And once again, you want to take the file that pops up and drag it into your frosty mods plugin folder. And yet again, if it asks if you want to replace any files, just click replace all. Now with all that done we only have a few more steps. Now it's time to actually open the Frosty Mod Manager. In your Frosty Mods folder, click on the application file with the grey and white M to open the Mod Manager. Now when you first launch it, it's going to be blank. And all we have to do is put in the install location of Battlefront 2. On the bottom right, click on New. Then find where your Battlefront 2 game is installed. For most people, it'll be under C Drive, Program Files x86, Origin Games, and then Star Wars Battlefront 2. Then you want to click on the executable game file. And once you have that, Battlefront 2 will show up in the Mod Manager. And now you just want to click on Battlefront itself, and press Select in the bottom right corner. Now it's finally time to actually download Instant Action Overhaul itself. We're going to head over to the Nexus mod page for it, and same process as before, click on Files, then on Instant Action Overhaul File, click Manual Download and then Slow Download. And once it's finished downloading, you want to go back into the Frosty Mod Manager. And on the top left, press on Add Mods. Then go into your Downloads folder, select the Instant Action Overhaul file and press Open. And now the mod will show up in the Mod Manager. One last step you have to make sure is to click on the Instant Action Overhaul mod itself and press apply on the top of the screen. And then you should be all set to launch the game. Just make sure whenever you want to play with mods you launch the game through Frosty Mod Manager, otherwise your game won't load the mods. Now once you hit launch it will take a moment to start up the game, but once it does, any mods you have downloaded will be activated. I'll even switch over to Battlefront 2 now to show the mod in action. As you can see, I'm now loaded into Battlefront 2, and when I go to play, all of the options added with Instant Action Overhaul are available, and you're pretty much good to go at this point. For anyone who just wanted to know how to install Instant Action Overhaul, you can click off this video and enjoy some Battlefront. 
However, for anyone who is new to modding and wants to know how to download more mods after this point, stick around and I'll show you how that's done. Now, this section of the video is going to be pretty short as it's a pretty similar process we've already done. Find the mod or mods you want to download. The Nexus for Battlefront 2 has thousands of great mods. For this video, I'll be showing off how to download the Instant Action Django Fet mod. Head to the mod page and yet again just click on Files, Manual Download, and then Slow Download and wait for it to finish. Once it is finished, simply go back into the mod manager, hit add mods again, find the mod you downloaded and open it. Once it's in the mod manager, just click on the mod and hit apply. And once you launch the game, your mods will be installed. And that right there is pretty much everything you need to know about Battlefront modding. If you want some more mods to download and try out for yourself, check out my other videos where I showcase a bunch of different mods for Battlefront 2. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button and comment down below if you have any questions or problems. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Battlefront 2 content. Happy modding my friends.